guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be making um, something that I really like to make um, to just kind of use up extra things in the fridge so I'm gonna be making a quiche I always just try to keep a couple of prepared pie crusts on hand so that anytime I have extra things in my fridge that I need to use up you know little pieces of bacon or vegetables or any type of meat any type of cheese any type of little odds and ends and stuff that you guys find you can just throw them in there and it's gonna turn out great so this is just kind of a basic recipe um, as long as you use the eggs, the cream, the crust, you can use any combination of ingredients. So um, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we can show you guys how to make this quiche. All right, you guys, so for this recipe, I'm going to be using one prepared pie crust, six large eggs, one cup of cream, about a cup of shredded cheese, scallions, bacon, and leftover breakfast potatoes. So the best thing about quiche is that you can just kind of use leftover things that you have in the fridge. I have four slices of thick cut bacon here. I like to buy my bacon at the meat counter in the grocery store. I just think it's a better quality. And you're just going to want to go ahead and cut this up into small pieces. You could definitely use sausage, ham, chicken, really anything that you have on hand you could you could put in this quiche. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fry this bacon up. Try to not cook the bacon on too high of a setting. A lot of people um, end up burning the bacon because they try to cook it too fast and it does need to cook nice and slow. So about a medium setting is good for this. Make sure your pan is heated up really nicely and it also helps if the bacon is at room temperature as with any type of meat that you cook. Just going to kind of separate the pieces out a little bit and then I'm going to get them into my frying pan. And I'm going to be using uh, green onions today. I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the ends. If you guys want to save your vegetable trimmings, maybe just throw them all in a big bag and at the end of the week you can throw them into a pot with a couple bay leaves and some chicken bones or beef bones and about 12 cups of water and you can make yourself a homemade chicken stock or beef stock and I use stock and chicken bouillons and things like that in a lot of different recipes and so you can really use up all of your little leftovers and turn it into something new. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these up. Green onions are very mild tasting and very soft so we're not going to cook these for very long but I am going to go ahead and cook them just a little bit and I'm just going to add them into the bacon here in a little bit after it's gotten crispy. And then let's go ahead and get our eggs in the bowl. So I'm going to be using six large eggs today. And then you just want to go ahead and add in your cream. I'm using half and half but I would prefer to use a heavier cream for this. And you just want to mix that up really well. And you could probably do this in the blender if you wanted to, but I'm okay with just doing it with a whisk. I'm just going to season it with a little bit of pepper and just a tiny bit of salt. I don't want to add too much salt to this because my bacon is really salty and the cheese is salty as well, so we don't want to oversalt the quiche. And I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside. 
and start working on the pie crust. So if you guys know how to make homemade pie crust or if you like to do that kind of thing, go ahead. Um, these these pre-made pie crusts work really well. You just want to be sure to keep it nice and cold until you're ready to use it or it will be a little bit more difficult for you to unroll. I let this one sit out for a little while so it kind of got stuck there for me. But not to worry, all you have to do is take that little piece, fill in that hole and just press it down and it's going to be totally fine. You just want to go ahead and press this pie crust down into your pan and any holes you have, just go ahead and fix those. And I'm not a huge baker, so my crust is not gonna look beautiful, but it is homemade, so that's okay. You're just gonna wanna go around, turn the pan, and just kind of fold the edges down. Press it into itself. And this is kind of like playing with Play-Doh, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to manipulate, so don't worry if it's not perfect, you can always go back and fix it. That looks really good to me, I'm going to go ahead and just set this aside. And let's check on our bacon, so you can see the edges are getting a little bit crispy. This has been going for about 10 minutes now. Um, I'm going to let it cook for a little bit longer before I add my onions. I want it to be a little bit crispier. And now you can see that it has crisped up a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and add in my onions. And I'm just going to let these cook for just a few minutes. Just mix that all up. This right here is a great combination. Bacon and onion um, is always a good choice. Spinach is always a great thing to add to quiche. In fact, I am going to make a second quiche here in just a moment with some spinach in it. And you just want to let that go for just a few minutes. You can see the onions are nice and bright green, so they haven't been cooking for too long, and they probably still have a little bit of crunch to them, so that's what you want. I'm just going to drain this because you don't want to add all that extra bacon fat into your quiche. And then I'm just going to put the potatoes in the pan and just kind of let those sit there. The heat from the pan is just going to kind of heat those up. And just so that everything that I put in the quiche is sort of at the same temperature. And so you're going to get your pie crust. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of cheese in the bottom. I'm going to use probably about a half a cup. You can definitely use any kind of cheese that you want. You could even use a sliced cheese. If you are going to use sliced cheese, you probably want to put something in it first and then you don't want the cheese and the crust to be um, right on top of each other. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add in my potatoes. It's probably one of the only ways that I have found to successfully use leftover breakfast potatoes that, you know, they end up tasting really good and not like their leftover potatoes. And you just want everything to be in the quiche nice and evenly so that every single bite is going to get all of the ingredients in it. Just want to spread it around. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the other half a cup of cheese. Sprinkle that on top. Then you're just going to grab the egg mixture. And you want your eggs to be at a room temperature. Whenever you're cooking and using eggs or any type of meat products, you definitely want to try to let those sit out um, and just come to room temperature before you cook them. It just makes the cooking process a little bit easier and it won't bring the temperature down in your pan or your oven as much. And so 
just allows things to cook a little bit more efficiently. I'm just going to even it out, push everything underneath of the egg mixture so that everything is submerged. This is my spinach quiche. Alrighty guys, so I just finished making my quiche. The thing that I really love about quiche is that it's one of those things that you can just kind of use up all that extra stuff in your fridge. So any any odds and ends that you have, you can just throw those into the quiche and you have a whole new meal and you don't have to waste things, you don't have to throw things away. I just went ahead and put a couple pieces of avocado on top. It's amazing. It's so good. It's so salty. The bacon tastes great. It's nice and crispy. Quiche is something that's kind of cool because you can serve it hot. You can serve it at room temperature. You can even eat it cold if you want to. So it's kind of one of those things that you can make and then you can just like leave it out and just kind of eat it as you go. So it's really good for brunch. It's really good to just kind of make and just have to snack on all day. Mm. It is so, so, so yummy. Mm. The avocado on top, you could put anything. You could put some tomatoes on top, anything you want, really. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. 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 That is a winner. Mm. It's so yummy. So the taste of the crust with the eggs and the cheese and the veggies is just the best combination. It's so good. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. Have a great day.